CD214 Network podcast is for mature audiences only. Any videos, music, or entertainment not originating from DD214 Network is used and covered under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, also known as Fair Use. Opinions expressed are our own and do not represent any DOD or U.S. government entities as a whole. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. You are no longer alone now, because we have you. Spirit fingers. Good fucking morning. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. And we're fingering. We're rimming. We're fingering. We're doing all the things. Hey, real quick. Um, I forgot yeah. to even, I forgot to ask you before the show. I know the last couple of weeks I've been having issues with my microphone being too low. Does my mic sound good today? Uh, it sounds fine to me. I mean, I can hear you. All right, does that, cool. Does that count? Does it, does it count? I, I guess well, I'm I've been, here, right? Yeah, that's true. I've been learning new things and I'm just like, okay, well, how do I do this? Right? You know, just doing different things, pressing different yeah. buttons. Uh yeah, but I'm fe- how's everybody feeling today? Are you guys feeling good? I know I'm feeling good. Uh getting there? Maybe. Yep, trying. <laughs> I don't know about feeling good, but I'm feeling <laughs> like I I still feel. Does that feeling, count? Feeling feeling is the first step. Feeling is yeah. the first step, right? Something like so, that. Something you know, like that. It's been, it's mm-hmm. just been like I don't know. Well, there uh, there was a retrograde this week. I know that. And well, I, well was it last what week or that? something like that? Yeah, about? It's something about space and the moon and how like um Oh, that's just some like astrology bullshit. Is that what you're talking about? Okay, so I I don't know that much about it. Hey, why you, so, stop pressing buttons, John. Fucking stop. My bad. Seriously. My bad. I already, I already did that. I already did that at the beginning of the show, and then you put them back up. Stop. Stop pressing buttons. I love you. I missed stop. it. I missed it. Um, <laughs> it's like something how like when the when the moon has when the moon has phases and how it affects the body and stuff like that. Are we really so, talking about Mercury retrograde? What okay. the fuck? It's a real thing, man. And and it when affects the moon lines up with Jupiter. And the sun lines up with Saturn, and they all line up with Uranus, right? Like that, John. There you go. And when it all goes right. up your ass, it makes you feel a certain way, does it not? I guess so. I guess so. You know. So I mean, but yeah, I know it's been a pretty tame week. I took the fucking week off. I didn't do shit. Actually, I, I did kind of do something. There's a new intro coming out for DD214 coming out soon. I mean, it's about time. Our intro's kind of got an old. <laughs> We're gonna wait. We're gonna get rid of the fucking the music or what? No, 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 no. Just the video. Just the video. Oh, New okay. video. So you know, oh, updating video. it with yeah, shit yeah. from more recent episodes, kind of like how we were doing in between seasons. We were updating it, but since this yeah. has just been one really long ass motherfucking season, because we kind of stopped focusing on that side of things. Yeah, we're on well. episode eighty nine of season four now. <laughs> Dope. It turned into a marathon. It turned into yeah. a marathon. It turned Here's into what the I longest say. We season yet. Switch over to season five when we hit the hundredth episode of season four. That sounds good. And that, that would sounds be good. Yeah, I'm down. Because I think it was what, like maybe 10, 15 episodes into season four was when we hit episode yeah. one hundred altogether. So you're right. So if you're we end out right. season four on the hundredth episode of the season, <laughs> and then just do it again each season, hundred episode seasons. There you go. It's Rick like a Morty. landmark thing. Rick, Rick and Morty forever. Rick and Morty, 100 seasons. Rick and Morty. Yep. You can't go wrong with it. But, yeah, I mean, 
pretty tame week. It's it's reality TV season, boys. So that's where I, that's where I my know. head is at. So you oh, know, I can't wait to oh, I can't wait to fucking hear about it. Like, yeah, well, what, what, well, you, what, what what do you what have you been watching, John? Uh, you, right no, now, no, 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 just just tell us. Right now, we're watching oh, no. the mole. The mole. It's just the mole right now. Um, tell me about so, it. Mole, 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 mole. So, you, know, you know, I you know I have zero clue. So like, oh yeah, so they put about, about it's about I think it's like ten to twelve people. And they travel into different areas of the world. Now, one of these okay. people is the mole. And the mole's job is to make sure that no one wins money in the pot. That's what that okay. their goal is to take all the money away. And so you don't when the show starts, you don't know who the as a, as a watcher, as a viewer, you viewer. don't know who the mole is. Yeah. Okay. So you're kind of guessing you're playing along with the show like oh like who's the mole so okay each person obviously different personalities so you know you uh, there's, there's always there's always archetypes right there's always uh -huh. the alpha male there's always the well i mean it, it's reality tv but let's be honest yeah. here like it's pretty fucking scripted too so yeah uh, of course you know and that's i'm pretty you know as a viewer <laughs> of that of of that type of world you know i i have to become very aware of that because it is true you know especially on a netflix show mo oh, most especially imagine. yeah so the the whole goal is for these people to beat to get the money by the end of the game but there are certain things that people do like one person spent fifty nine thousand dollars on an exemption card so he can make it to the next round and that fifty nine thousand dollars was the whole money in the pot so now people think that this guy is is the mole so they have to take a test and what the test does they have they have to they have to figure out who the mole is and if whoever has the least amount of correct answers gets kicked off the game it's a lot it's a lot yeah, but uh, yeah it's a lot but uh, it's heart. it's Bless your heart, it's, John. Bless your it's heart. a lot more because you know this is a 10 episode series whereas compared to like big brother which goes on for two to three months at times you know and that's a 24 7 watch it every day so i mean my wife this is the season four we're pretty excited for it um traders is coming back sometime by the end of the season and that's a little more brutal than big brother so yeah you like you you do like your trash john that's okay i do it is that's trash okay. It is trash okay. and it is good trash, but I, I think the, we all we all have our proclivities. We all have our I'm proclivities. Just, I'm just I'm just waiting. Just just sign me up. Get me in there. I I'm ready to win a hundred thousand dollars in any one of these shows, man. I'm ready for it. I see you, you. You would probably be okay on a on a on a reality show. Yeah, uh, me and John, me or, or me and Joe would not make it. I wouldn't make it. Fucking five seconds on some bullshit like that. <laughs> The possibilities of me getting into a fist fight with somebody fight else I, in that fucking house? Either a fight or I'd or I, I would walk. I'd leave. I would just straight up fucking like walk out and be like, I don't need this shit. I don't need this bullshit. Fuck you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like John would John would like happily play along and like frolic I, frolic in front of the camera cameras, you know. You know, like, my my strat my strategy would be if I was on Big Brother, I would use the 24-7 cameras as a diary. That's one that I would make a podcast inside the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. That's one. Uh, two, I I would fucking lie my way through the game because you got to do what you got to do to win. That's Honestly, probably where I would. That's probably the where only I would time go. I will ever watch Big Brother John is if you end up getting on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's just million. because me and Jay still have to continue this show while you're on that show and can't do this show. Yeah, someone's got to do it. Uh, <laughs> yep. But other than that, so we'll I, watch that and give people the chronicle of that. While yeah, <laughs> so. so we did. We did watch this show. What's going on? Thank you for coming. So, hey this, Kelly, this, good to see you. Good to see yeah, you. I, I just want to say, I just want to say too. I've been popping in and out to the Stone Vet and Master Sergeant things, and I've just, I've been so damn busy. I haven't even been able. I haven't even been watching podcasts this week. I haven't even been watching podcasts this week. I've just been gaming. I saw, I saw Master Sergeants went live like yesterday or something. Yeah, shit yeah, for a little bit. Really good He's stuff. Angry. He's always so angry. He's always. He's a, ma so He's a Master Sergeant. I mean, I was a staff sergeant, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm not so angry anymore. 
I'm not so angry anymore. I try. I try not to be angry. You know, when you have when you have so many people putting a pin on you like a voodoo doll, it gets it gets kind of aggravating after a while. You know I'm what not, I mean? I'm not blaming the guy. I'm not blaming the guy. There's no, a lot of no. Fucking, you can't. There's a lot well, of trash out there. He's taking out I, some trash. I mean, you know? whoever's got my fucking voodoo doll, what I need them to do is learn acupuncture so they can get those spots to fucking like make my shoulders stop hurting and shit. Because, you know, this shit's getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> like, whoever's got, whoever's got my voodoo doll, like, can you please just fucking finish the job? Please? I'm getting fucking tired. I'm getting fucking tired. Like, can you just like hand it to that? your fucking alligator and let it destroy the fucking thing? <laughs> was it uh, was it one of the Chucky movies? Was it Child's Play where they had like the voodoo doll and they fucking started breaking the dude's fucking legs and shit? <laughs> Remember that shit? Yeah, like, was that Child's Play. Yeah, like can, whoever's got mine, just hurry up, please. And, and Steve O, Steve O just did like a thing with where he made a voodoo doll of himself and he put like his actual hair on the voodoo doll. And it was rapid. And he he put the hair on the voodoo doll, and like he just told people to just have their way with them. Steve was a fucking idiot. Like I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I love him. I love I, him, but he, he's a fucking idiot. Like I, I mean, I, I saw him live years ago. So did I. In two, I saw him in Tucson in like the two thousands. No the shit. Fucking, the show started with him pissing in a cup and somebody else drinking it. That's how it fucking started. Sounds like a fucking Steve-O show. It but that was, was also that stupid. was also back when Steve-O was really fucked up on drugs and shit. Oh, yeah. he, oh, he was. A dude fuck a dude stapled his nutsack to his leg. Uh we're talking like backflips off of fucking ladders. Like just onto a stage. Like this is cutting, all like cutting glass on his tongue. Oh my god. It was with a light stupid. bulb. It was yeah. fucking stupid. Like it was just now he does all that stupid shit and he's sober. It's like, <laughs> he's not he's not so extreme. I don't know anymore. what's worse. I don't he's, know what's he dude. The dude's about to get breast implants and he just got a fucking cock tattooed on his face, bro. He's a fucking wait a moron. minute, wait a minute. Steve O's gonna do what now? He's about to get breast implants. He just announced it. Look it up. I'm not fucking lying. He's a fucking idiot. It doesn't matter if this dude is fucking sober, he's a fucking moron. Okay, like being being sober does not automatically make you better at whatever. Like, like I can no Believe yeah, I've got shit. it right here. Like the Huffington Post, you. fucking fucking idiot, Steve O's a fucking idiot. I don't care how much you like jackass. Holy shit! I don't care how much you like jackass. I don't care how much you like the jackass crew. Steve O's a fucking idiot. He's a fucking. He's an he's attention He's undergoing whore. a procedure for a breast augmentation for comedic a fucking purposes. moron. He's a fucking attention seeking moron. If he was in the army, I'd be fucking chaptering his ass out. Like you, that's like, that's like the it, last guy in the fucking world I want on my team. That is the last motherfucker in the entire world I would ever want on my team. Is a, going on, Sergeant morning, time. Hard. Some guy like fucking Steve O. Like what a fucking idiot, dude. That whole Jeez, goddamn, the whole goddamn right. crew, the whole goddamn he fucking did, jackass crew. He like, did, fucking, he did that like, stupid oh, thing where he put himself on the top of a billboard too. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll really change wanna, it up. Really Next wanna... topic. <laughs> yeah, so I, my wife and I watched this new show. Uh, you know, you know, I'm constantly talking about the shows, and uh, you know, and it was great. Ended season ended great, but then the day after, a new show yep. came out. Now we're all fans of The Office, right? Or at least that c- comedic style of filming. Well, I, Jay, you don't like anything. Yeah. Thank Jay's you. fucking just Jay. Like Jay likes what Jay likes, and usually and it's, it's, it's really weird shit. Yeah, and it's and it's very niche, and it's not, and there's not very much of it on Earth. Or Western fucking soap operas. Yeah, something so, like that. Yeah. So the a crew or that soap operas. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same fucking genre. Or there or were... Vikings, or you know, like as long as somebody's getting a fucking axe like swung into their face, I'm down. If okay? there's like, if there's killing, Jay's watching. I'm down with the death. I'm down that's with the I death. Keep, what that's why I keep telling you to watch that show six too. Such a good show. I'll check it out. So maybe. All right. Back to so uh back, back to oh, yeah, whatever the fuck you were talking about, John. So this back show, so it is a film. It is it is it's a pilot episode, so there's no other episodes. It's like, oh, you know, if this does good, we'll make more of it. But the show is in the is is 
film like The Office, but during the times of Moses, right after he parts the Red Sea. Now, it's a comedy. It's a comedy. Where do you fucking find these shows, John? Where in the fuck do you find these shows? You want to know how you spend way too much time on the fucking internet? When you find shows like It's The Office, but during the beginning of time when Moses parted the Red Sea. Yeah. What the fuck? It's actually fucking hilarious. And the, the opening scene shows Moses holding the staff. And, you, you know, he's he's screaming like, oh, God's telling me to hold the staff, but he can't hold it. So his brother runs up to him and all these people are dying. He's like, our people are dying, Moses. Pick up the stick. Pick up the stick. Then there's an Egyptian that swept up with them with the Red Sea and he's okay. lying to them. It, it, it's it's hilarious. It's it's a fucking sounds, comedy. Sounds like brain tumor enhancing <laughs> bullshit. It, I'm feeling I'm I'm going to start feeling slightly suicidal here in a second. So, <laughs> oh, don't worry, Hold we'll up. get to that conversation here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we'll we'll make sure we hit that we hit on that during the final thought. Like, if you're watching TV, if you're watching TV shows that makes Jay want to uh, premature prematurely end things. Yeah, here we go. What in the fuck? Yes, that looks like some fucking Monty Python. The there you fuck? go. <sighs> Hilarious. Hilarious. I know you what you want to hear. You want to hear I've been fucking playing the shit out of Red Dead Redemption for the last week and Starfield. I do like hearing, and... that. I, I do like hearing that. I can't speaking stop. Of Star... I... Speaking of Starfield, is Starfield any better? Did, did it finally yeah. like pan out? Like, yeah. So I t- to... Yeah. So I took the week off pretty much. It's been just fucking crazy. I literally gamed. Practically all fucking week. Mm-hmm. I played so many. Vi- I even played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 the other day. That's how. You. Yeah. Yeah. Ill, Ill is right. Yeah. Trust me. Trust me. It was. It was, so, play that. it was so bad that the game was constantly lagging in the campaign. The campaign was lagging. What? Yeah. What? So I stopped. I stopped playing it. Yeah. I went right back to Red Dead Redemption. I went back to I went back to the RP. I've been, you know, I RP all the time. I run the newspaper now. That's a good fucking time. You know, and usually when he RPs, he's in, you know, high heels and a bunch of makeup. That's not anymore. Not anymore. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, what was that? What was that? Was that movie with uh, was it one of the Adam Sandler movies? And like Steve Buscemi, like start to put on the makeup and like because he's got the list. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. is, that, is that you, John? Is that you, John? When you, you get What's ready to that, play your um, RP, like It was uh, Mr. Your... Deeds, I think, when he was calling around the people, apologizing for being, like, a bad person. Was it Mr. Deeds? No, it was Billy Madison, remember. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Billy Madison. Yeah. I think it was Billy Madison. And yeah, he's it was like... Billy Madison. <laughs> it was an earlier Sandler movie. I'm, yeah, I'm not a crazy was... Sandler fan, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. No, you just watch freaking trailer trash fucking that's goddamn right. reality yeah. tv so so jay right. I, I i i i've been doing something in rp that you may appreciate and i've been taking some time doing this i've been making newspapers nice for the server so like I i've like been that. i've been make. i did this is the fourth of july one so i've been doing some really cool articles we had an nice, independence dude. day event i got a story about the butter bandit the butter tell me about the butter bandit Fuck. so the butter bandit is this guy who goes around town slipping butter in people's pockets so that he can go inside their pockets and take stuff take stuff out of their pockets easier. So Where's pretty much he's lubing people's pockets to pickpocket them. Yep. Interesting. Yep. Uh, I'm the butter bandit, by the way. That's that's. Of course you are. Yeah. Fucking, why God. does that not surprise me that you would fucking do that? <sighs> Yeah, I'm the butter bandit, and then uh, yeah, and then we have the wanted board. We have wanted dead or alive. Who's actually he's actually the developer of the server who's got a fucking bounty on him. So yeah, gaming really? is gaming. Gaming is fun this week, and then Starfield. So Starfield at finally added their create their creation, um, uh-huh. their creation club thing, where you could mod the game. You could mod the game any way you want. So I. <laughs> I currently have turned Starfield into Star Wars with a Star Wars uh, overhaul. 
Um, okay. It's got Star Wars, Star, Star, Star Wars culture, Star Wars races, Star Wars uniforms, lightsabers. So yeah, Starfield's back, baby. Racism, except you, except you made it Star Wars. Yeah, well, before I did that, I did play with some other mods, and I did play the game vanilla before. I put the mods in. It, it's working uh -huh. a lot better. It's well, still it got to be, be vanilla. Why couldn't it be chocolate? Then we're going to call it chocolate. Then dude, why are you, John? Why are you so racist? Like, why are you such a racist, dude? I Seriously. didn't make these terms up. What's wrong with the white people? I didn't make up these terms. <laughs> I didn't make it. Tell the guys who make who wrote the terms vanilla chocolate. I well, but then, I mean, but then if but, if, but then if you think about it, the term vanilla, I mean, there's really nothing in it. It's just vanilla. Chocolate's got a little well, bit of flavor meant, in it. It's meant to basically like be a metaphor for something that's just basic, plain. Right? Yeah, plain. Yeah, because no, you know, saying yeah, yeah. it's plain is too fucking easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but yeah, Starfield. They fixed it. I played Taxi Simulator again. Um, that's actually working. The way that it's supposed to so that's fun and then i play the brand new game that's free and cross play uh called the first descendant and i don't it's not my style right okay. it's not my style but it's got mechanics like destiny and warframe and what's the other one um anthem you know familiar mechanics very high paced action you know uh but again it's it's a PVE, very repetitive. You go into a field with your friends, you fight bad guys, and then it's over. You know, with a little bit of story in there. Um, okay. <clears throat> people are calling this. People are saying this would be the game of the year. I highly fucking doubt that, to be honest with you, because there's way better contenders that came out this year than the first Descendant, and the game just came out. And plus, it's still buggy, just like any other game that comes out. But it's a it's a yeah. it's a. I'm, I'm giving it a solid seven. Okay. Okay, I. It's it's yeah a we've, had, we've had we've had we've had this talk a couple of times about yeah, it's, like, it's, how how it's, how any game comes out and has bugs in it is beyond me and it's just it's the standard now. Yeah, I could it's take like, yeah, I could I could take minuscule I could take minuscule bugs, you know, basic little bugs, you know. But when it comes to you go into a cutscene and someone is talking, but the character that's talking is not showing the character. Right. And like everything is just off. It's just it's boring. I, I don't want to say I don't want to say it's bad development, but it's also a, it's kind of like you're not paying attention to the little mistakes that are already in there that you're supposed to fix already, you know, and I'm looking and, and I'm also looking at these RP servers like DayZ, uh, like Red Dead and GTA, where once they have an issue, it's an immediate fix, you know. Right. So if That's these right. if these little little developers who don't even work for these companies and for these bigger servers for money and they could do it so fast. Why can't the big guys do it that fast? I agree. I just want to understand why it. Why don't we have DLC? Why don't we have DLC for fucking red dead redemption too? And that's a but, you know, I mean, conversation too. Like that. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go on the DLC fucking rant for a minute here because, well, because, because Obviously, y'all know my love of Nintendo and how Nintendo's still doing shit right. I mean, yeah, we're getting a lot of fucking remakes, remasters, redos, shit like that. But when they do make an original game, they do it fucking right. And the also Nintendo, to make sure they're not putting out the same content every fucking year or a new version of the same shit every year, right. they actually fucking take the time and do DLC for their games. Yeah, Nintendo and do it right. Nintendo's I mean, the last really good with their stuff. The last two generations or three generations of Pokemon games have all had DLC packs that after the game was out for about six months to a year, enough time for everybody to complete the main storyline, do all the main shit. They release a DLC pack to give you extra shit to do that's going to take you another couple months. The Nintendo does it right. Other companies, they were like, I mean, fuck, Red Dead 2. I would kill for a fucking DLC for that game. Yeah. And and that's interesting really that you say that too. Because it was just fucking revealed. It was just revealed. I had to pay $30, $40 for the fucking DLC. Give me DLC for fucking RD2. Yeah. Please. So so the there's actually and well, first off, you said Undead Nightmare, right, Jay? Yeah, I mean like uh, that so, was that, 
Like that was so, they had on Dead Nightmare for the fucking first one, and it was amazing. Yeah, I actually think I actually think right. that that's that's getting released soon. Not for not for two, but they're do they're doing the because um, uh, Red Dead Red Dead One is co- finally coming to PC. So that's finally I you know. But anyways, but yeah, but but, but they were just fuck, fuck rock started. Fuck yeah, but they started. but they were just saying that there was a DLC for Trevor on GTA Five that didn't get released. It was a story DLC, and yeah, it never, never got released because it they never it never got fucking... released because GTA Online was making so much money. Yeah, they yeah, they they. Did. They forgot the base game and fucking put all their fucking efforts into the online side because everybody played it. More people play fucking GTA five online than they do the fucking base game. And they're going to they're going to keep their money where the fucking money. They're going to keep putting money in where the money's coming from. They're not going to give money to Uh the story mode side and give us DLC for it when they're making a shit ton of fucking money on the online side as it is. Yep. Corporate greed. Ooh, yep. just fucking ru- ruins everybody's fucking day. And oh and then Lord. and then Joe and then Joe and John fucking wonder why Jay fucking hates everything, right? You want to know what ruins my fucking day? Tell me. Can 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 I can I steal spotlight for a second, John? I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, wait. yeah. I'm, I'm down for it. We're going to flash back to fucking 4th of July and you two fuckers know exactly what fucking ruins my goddamn day. Oh, dude. I want to hear about this. Tell me about this shit on 4th of July, please. So we decide we're sitting at home fucking what is it the third the evening of the third we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for the fourth the missus is like well let's go to the lake and then she's like but i also want to go see fireworks well for us to go to the lake that's like an hour and a half drive i'm like listen if we're going to drive an hour and a half to the lake spend all day there i don't really want to go do fireworks that night and then looking online all of the municipalities and cities around us did their uh-huh. fireworks on Wednesday night instead of the fourth because of the night of the fourth being technically a weekday so the next day being a work day that was the, that was the same for us so so we got to look in and finally we decided hey let's go to our minor league baseball team the Greensboro Grasshoppers we're going to go to one of their games cuz they're, you know, playing at home. They're having fucking fireworks, all this shit. So we go to the game. Fucking great game, by the way. Up until the fucking end. I get up. I have to go piss. I've probably had like six fucking beers at this point. Oh, so I have to go pee. Your, affiliate, your team is affiliated with the Pirates. I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't know that either. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I was just at one of their fucking games. So... <laughs> But so I get up to go take a piss and on my way back to our seats, they do last call while I'm in the pisser. So I grab another beer. I'm walking back to my seats. I've got my fucking Afghan vet hat on and I pass him 20 year old. I'm saying about 20s because he looked young, but he didn't look like. Not college level young. He yeah. looked like starting off college and right. old enough to hit. Yeah, old enough for me to punch in the face and not get assault on a minor. <laughs> I like where this so, is going so far. <laughs> so this motherfucking libtard looks me in the eyes as I'm passing him and says, all veterans should kill themselves. Fuck veterans. Holy shit. For real? Holy shit. Did you actually say that? Like, yeah. How did you not? How did you Thank not? Thank you for throwing that banner up. I got yeah. you. <laughs> how got did you, you. not? How did you not punch him in the face? Like what? 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 What preserved you? Were you because Holy you were holding a beer? Shit! Because you were holding a beer. I didn't want to spill my beer, <laughs> and I didn't want my wife to find out by you know the police coming to the fucking seats to tell right. her I just got arrested. Oh, responsibility! Responsibility always calls, doesn't it? Oh, dude! But he looks me in the fucking face and says this, and I get back to the seat and I'm pissed. Just ruin your whole fucking day. Like, like she could tell I was fucking pissed because I get back to the seat. I sit down. I tip the fucking beer. And I was buying the 24 ounce beers. I wasn't getting no because our baseball stadium sells them in cups instead of, you know, stadium cans or whatever. You know, the tall boys. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. and their prices are actually fairly decent. So for a 24 ounce, any beer that they sell. It's six dollars and twenty five cents. That's not that's bad. way cheaper. That's way cheaper than fucking here in Kansas City. 
That's way cheaper than your way cheaper industry. than going to a fucking any type of pro level. Yeah. Whether it's MOB, NFL, NASCAR, anything like that, you're paying, Probably you know, pay at least triple. Fucking, you're paying at least $15, $16 for that fucking beer. I mean, look um, at look at theme parks. Theme parks are charging one one pizza slice cheese, $17. So what? that's the thing. So I got when we were there, I got a hot dog all the way at first when we got there because we just decided we're going to just eat stadium food for dinner that night and then later on we go back up it was time for me to get like i think it was my third or fourth beer of the night and then she wanted some nachos and we're standing there i got a slice of pizza a beer she got nachos and i think we paid like 15 bucks that's not bad for all that yeah that's that's pretty good that's pretty good really good so yeah um but no, this fucker looks me in the face and says this. I get back to the seat. She could tell from the look on my face when I walked up to the seat, I was pissed. Well, yeah. And she's like, what's wrong? And I just did this to her, took that 24-ounce beer and just chugged it. And then I said, Hold on. when the game's over and the fireworks are done, I'm going to go find this motherfucker. I'm going to punch him in his fucking face. <laughs> and she looked at me and said, okay, I've got bail money. Nice. <laughs> Fucking nice. She said that? Yeah. She said that? Oh, I did. Amy's so sweet, dude. She's such a sweet lady. And then I think she misunderstood. I'm going to go find this fucker and punch him in his face. Because when the game got done and the fireworks were over, we parked coming out of the seats. Because we had really good seats. I sent you guys photos. We were yeah. like fifth row back, right side of home plate. First base side? Yeah, first base side. Yeah. Um, And so we go get out of our seats, go up. We parked to the left of where we were sitting. I tried to turn to the right where this fucker was going because yeah. I was going to go find him. <laughs> and she said, no. I said, if you saw him, you could hit him. Not you could go find him to hit him. <laughs> so, what, so what's the radius? If you saw him like on the other side of the parking lot, would that be eligible for I saw him? I would go with yes. I I want I'm still I'm still wondering what the fuck possessed this guy to make a comment to like say that. something That's like not, that. Holy shit. How gross. How fucking gross. And the biggest thing that bugged her about it was the fact that not all like it's okay. So what? Freedom of speech, we all you know, served, we fought for the fucking right to say whatever the fuck people want to say. We talked about this last week when we had that discussion about burning flags. We talked about this. Yeah. Like, you have the freedom to protest. I got the freedom to punch you in the fucking face. Exactly. Like, there, there there will be consequences if stuff happens in my vicinity, right? Like, it is what it is. I don't like being violent. I don't like acting out. I don't like showing my ass in public. But I will. But I I fucking will. If I was there with the guys and she wasn't there, we on wouldn't site. have sat to watch fireworks. I'd on have gone site. back to the seat. I'd have chugged that beer. They'd have looked at me. They'd have all gotten up and we'd have gone and found the motherfucker. Yeah. Ain't, there's a, it, there ain't nothing better in more old fashioned than a good old fucking beat down in a fucking stadium at a ball game. Okay. that That's as American as fucking apple pie. I just okay, want to like, say too, every time the bench is clear, I mean, those are some of the best YouTube compilations I've ever seen in my life. Man, dude, I'm like fighting is part of baseball. I don't give well, a fuck what he just says. Fighting is part of, of baseball. And we've talked about this many times on this show. One of the greatest benches clears moment involved George Brett. Okay. Like That's that, right. that and is, he, and it he goes even down. Fighting. He wasn't even trying to fight the fucking other team. He was fi- trying to fight the fucking umpire. The re- you know what I mean? Like he wasn't even like, oh, holy shit, dude. Like, and by the way, and, and, and can I put it up? Can I put it up? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, actually, it's it, the anniversary is coming up. It happened on July twenty fourth, uh, oh, nineteen eighty three. Actually, fucking so, speaking of anniversaries, the anniversary is um, coming up. But yeah, also fuck the Yankees. What? <laughs> <laughs> man, don't be mad because it's our year, man. Whatever, dude. Whatever. It's our fucking year. I don't want to fucking hear it right now. <laughs> actually, I I think speak speaking of anniversaries, I think something. A specific DD214 anniversary just happened recently, too. Really? I actually think... So we're July... What's July 7th? So, yeah, no, this is... We're we're officially... Four years this, old? 
this week officially marks four years of DD214. Holy shit. This week, this, huh? This is the official week because like we did the we did the pilot episode on June 28th. Okay. And then I got I got my tattoo the week after, so we missed it, an episode. Uh -huh. And then from there on in we started going. Every week. Every yeah. week. So this this week is that threshold week when we were talking about it and we were just like, okay, this is what we're gonna do with it. And boom. And then we started and then we started playing with it. Yeah, so we're we're officially in the four years. Awesome. This week. Yeah, this 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 specific episode. All right, here we go. Oh, nope, not slides. This is not a slide. You ever seen this, Squilini? There is no spoon. <laughs> I probably have. No, I didn't put any sound on it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I don't need the MLB to... Yeah, and fucking old Billy Billy Martin fucking complaining about shit because that's what the fucking Yankees do. And there's too much pine tar, and then George Brett's like, "Don't you fucking do it! Don't you fucking do it!" They're looking at it, they're observing it. You know, the Yankees are such fucking pricks, dude. Yankees are such fucking pricks, dude. Listen, we need to. Everything needs to be precise with us, all right? Look at the pinstripes. The pinstripes are the perfect. 90 yeah, degree like line fucking, yeah you're like a bunch of fucking criminals okay like that, that's like just, just cheating and shit we just got cheating. we're like the army you when you come into the new york yankees you need to shave which actually i think they changed where's the where's the fight it's coming here Susie we go calls, Susie calls him out he's like oh fucking fuck no mother like look at his mouth too he's like get the fuck bullshit that's fucking bullshit you can read his lips really easy in this. Like, mm -hmm. yes, like you ready can. to fight a fucking. He's ready to fight a fucking umpire. Like he so didn't give it, a fuck. That's I, George I Brett, baby. That's George I, Brett, baby. All right. I love benches clear. Proud right here. Oh man. So what else we got? Uh, Squilini, NASCAR street racing. <sighs> yeah. So, um, you know, this is a little bit of a change for us because we never talk about fucking nascar um <laughs> yeah yeah so this will be the second official ever nascar cup series chicago street race today um really? they did it for the first time last year this is now the second year they're doing it okay. um i'm actually looking forward to it it was a good race last year i expect it to be just as good of a fucking race this year that's, that's I mean, that's really all I've got on it. It's 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 NASCAR meets F1 in a sense. So I saw I I looked up something yesterday and it was when Dale Jr. won the Pepsi 400, like after his dad died. And it was uh, the first ra first race at Daytona, like after Dale, Dale, Dale Earnhardt got killed. Yeah. And like and then when Jr. won and like actually saw that yesterday like it's like kind of rewatched re it but this looks fun this looks like a more it's not just them turning left all day obviously mm -mm. i have no issue with them turning left all day i mean it's all about it's all about uh the action i mean look at that that's actually pretty cool to see that nascar that is doing pretty, something it, like this it, it does actually like I, I i could probably watch this a lot faster and easier than i would watch them driving in a fucking on an oval track, you know, is like this, in a yeah. circle all day. I mean, you see the streets. I mean, this looks like they closed off a part of a of a highway or something. Yeah, yeah no, they, oh, yes. they pulled off. They they closed off parts of city streets. Yeah, yeah. I, can can you imagine the traffic right now in some areas because of this? Yeah, probably, probably. Not gonna it lie, this look, is pretty cool. Yeah, I would watch it. I would actually sit down and watch. A race like this because it, this is, looks like a lot more there's a lot more to it than yeah. yeah like i said just driving in circles all day well not just that you're also i mean they're not able to get quite to the speed that you would think they could they that right. they normally are used to on the city because street, of yeah. the fact that you're on a city street so there's yeah. a lot more imperfections in that street and Differencing in you know road texture, shit like that, than there is on a fucking track. Right. What I think is really cool is that they probably like 
looked at got the map and we're just like we like these areas right here you know so, those cars you uh, i think oh that's a good question because well, don't they use that like in that that fuel that makes invisible fire you remember that incident that happened years ago the f in the fuel yeah there there was an incident at a race car i'll put it up right now um it and the in the fire was invisible oh yes yeah yeah yeah. When the guys on yeah, yeah i've seen that video yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, look, uh, this right here. And, like, I've always, Rick Mears has a pit fire. So, like, he, you don't see the fire. Right. But it's burning him. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand how that stuff works, but that's some interesting shit right there. Uh, did you yeah. find out? The, did you find out, Scolini, if they use uh, gas or diesel? I didn't look that up. I actually pulled up an image of the course. Let's see it. Okay. So it's 12 total turns, a total of 2.2 miles. Okay. Um, oh, and they use a mixture of ethanol and gasoline. Ethanol and gasoline, huh? Yep, the Chicago All right. Street. All right, that's it. Oh wow, look at so that's actually a pretty that's actually a pretty cool uh, track if you think about it. So very, yeah. very long long pathways with a couple turns, that, you know. But th that one turn on the bottom left side, that's that's the kicker right there. That one you're and talking then the about. One, yeah, down uh, T. It's what. Eight, nine, and ten. So yep. eight, nine and ten is the kicker because it's really fucking a. That's got to be the one that fucks up a lot of people. And yep. then you got that one up on the top right too, which I mean that that that's an opportunity lane right there. So. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting. I, again, I'm not a big NASCAR person. I prefer Formula One over NASCAR any day. But with them doing street races like this, I'm interested to see if, you know, as the Chicago street circuit gets more popularity, if they start doing more of them. Next one next one is today at 4.30. Yeah, it's 4.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time today. Yep. Chicago's Eastern, right? Mm-hmm. I, I I always yeah. get confused with that. Very nice, very nice. Um, you guys do it for, for the Fourth of July. I know what oh, happened. We already talked Scalini. about my Fourth. Yeah, your, yours, <laughs> yours, yours was yours was probably the most eventful, Squalini. Yeah, I just worked. I worked at the stadium, and I got I got to see a free fucking fireworks show because the the royal the Royals played that night. So uh, that was about all I did. It wasn't overly exciting. It was pretty easy. Uh, went, it went by fairly fast. So they play. Nice. Then, it sounded like the one thing I do love about Kansas City, though, is you know because like obviously like fireworks are legal here in, in Missouri. Um, here the in New Jersey, it, too, it was so good, the, so awesome. The entire fucking metro sounded like the Gaza Strip. That was fucking cool. Oh shit! That was fucking cool. Dude. <laughs> like it sounded like like my neighborhood all the way up till midnight, probably all of last week. My entire neighborhood sounded like the fucking gaza strip like every fucking night and that shit's dope i love it i love it oh know, you're about uh, you're about to make me rant right now from the dungeon what is this it don't deserve a fourth of july Wait, what who who i don't under, i don't I, uh, I'm not that's practically I'm not the fucking rant i just went on about that libtard at the fucking stadium uh, I, we're gonna... if, if anyone is saying that then they're a f then they're un-American and a fucking idiot. Okay, do fucking they not idiot. realize yeah. what the fuck July Fourth is about? It's about the birth of the country. Yep. The and we birth have, and of we, a and nation, we reasons, and we still have reasons to celebrate the birth of our nation. Okay, I don't care how fucked up everything is or gets. We still have reason to celebrate. And that's isn't why we Thanks celebrate. Isn't Thanksgiving way more controversial than fucking Fourth of July anyway? You would think yeah. so. You would think, so. you would think so because of the origins of it, yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh fucking poor, poor, fucking, poor fucking pilgrims needed fucking help, didn't they? You know what I mean? 
Britain got fucking, the birthday. Britain got the birthday. Why can't America? Hey, fucking Great Britain. Like our birth, our birth is separating ourselves from Great Britain. So yeah, yeah, because we don't do fucking kings here. Y'all hear me? I don't care what the fuck the Supreme Court decided last week. We don't do fucking kings here. I'm just what gonna remind everybody. Court, whoa, whoa, whoa! What did the Supreme Court do last week that has something to do with kings? They gave, now they, they 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 ruled they ruled that presidents have immunity. In, so, in some, oh, regards. that shit. Yeah, yeah. In, some, yeah. in some, some regards, regards, in some regards, presidents have immunity, which is not. That's not how it's supposed to go. That's not how that's supposed to go. But whatever, whatever. What I mean, would I know I mean while while we're talking about while we're talking about the presidents, right? I just got so it's a small thing, real quick, all right? Uh-huh. Because you know, everyone's got their feelings about about the candidates. Everyone's got their feelings about every single person that's out there, and that's fine. But sure. what a lot of people don't talk about, and and are the things that some of these leaders have done because every president has at least done at least one decent thing in their presidency. But I have a list here. So during, I'm going to start off with Trump with the Trump administration. Okay. (laughs) So for veterans, you know, this is detailing what they've done for veterans and Trump did the VA Mission Act, which the purpose was to expand veterans' access to private health care. Those details are they allowed veterans to receive care from private providers if they face long wait times or live far from VA facilities, improved the VA's caregiver program to include pre-9-11 veterans. Uh, The next thing was the Veteran Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act, which was to enhance accountability within the VA, and it made it easier to discipline or fire VA employees for poor performance or misconduct and to strengthen protections for whistleblowers to ensure issues within the VA could be reported without fear of retaliation. And the last thing is the Veterans Suicide Prevention Task Force. And the purpose of that, obviously, as it says, was to address veteran suicides. And they developed strategies to prevent veteran suicides, including outreach programs, mental health services, and community partnerships. Okay. Uh, is there anything that I'm missing? I don't know. You said that was for Trump, or was that Trump that was for Biden? Trump? That's Trump. Okay. What's Biden? What's Mr. Biden done? Uh, so, so the first, so it's the same three things. Uh, this is actually they should make a law with veterans should live for free forever. Yeah. F- fucking a. Wouldn't that be nice? It's a nice fucking thought. a. It's a nice idea. It's a nice idea. Uh, so Biden, <sighs> Biden's administration did the PAC Act, which expanded benefit, benefits for veterans exposed to toxic substances, and it provided health care compensation to provide veterans to expose toxins such as burn pits, Agent Orange, and other hazardous substances during their service, <sighs> extended eligibility for VA health care for post-9-11 combat veterans. Next, he increased funding for mental health services in which he allocated significant resources you guys could fight about that any way you want to find out where those resources came from to improve mm-hmm. mental health services, including increased access to counseling, therapy, and support programs, especially specifically designed for veterans. What's going on, Freedom Fighter? Thank you for coming, my brother. And the last thing was measures for veterans' homelessness and economic challenges, which implemented initiatives to provide housing, job training, and financial assistance to veterans experiencing homelessness or economic hardship. These measures aim to reduce veteran homelessness and improve financial stability, which I think that last point right there is still one of the biggest problems that veterans have right now is veteran homelessness. John, are you watching fucking scooter racing? Is that, is that on that fucking TV behind you? Yes. Are they racing scooters? Yes. What the? Fuck? I just got just I got so fucking distracted when you were talking because all I see in the background is just like people riding fucking scooters. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm trying to find a new lease in life with that. Don't don't what ask any questions about it. What fucking channel is that on? Is that like NBC? Like wild, wild, wide world of sports, like it's just YouTube. Is it the Ocho? Is it the Ocho? Like all no. the fucking like obscure fucking sports you uh, never fucking heard of. The, the scooter championship hasn't been picked up by any network yet. <laughs> Dear God, John, oh, John over here trying to just just finding random ass fucking new sports. 
Yeah. No, but yeah, What's but next? fucking uh guinea pig races. No, I don't <laughs> like guinea pigs. Uh but yeah, you know, that's what um that's what the two administrations done. I'm but but I, I again, we're, we're missing one thing that Biden did. The horrendous pull out of Afghanistan. That's okay, which 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 was initiated. Okay. Which was also initiated during the Trump administration. By the way, Trump is the one that made the fucking deal with the Taliban. Okay, like let's let's make this very clear. Like both of those administrations did like um, like share made share bad decisions. Like yeah, like I'm not, I'm not I'm not for even Biden one second. Easily changed. He could have changed. He could have changed a lot. Sure, but he didn't. And and like and Trump is the one that made the deal. The fucking the Doha fucking the Doha fucking agreements. Yep. Like like so I don't. We're not going to lay that at the that we're there were four four different motherfucking presidents during Afghanistan. Every single one of those cocksucks fucking shares the blame. Every single one of them. Fucking Bush, Obama, Trump, and Biden all can suck my dick on that one. All fucking four of them. Right. Like, that. Suck my dick. Uh, yeah. this so this this next one I got is more than 160 years after they were captured and ex- executed by the Confederate rebels, two U.S. soldiers are set to be posthumously recognized for their valor during the Civil War with the Medal of Honor. Privates Philip Shadrach and George Wilson will be, will be recognized for their actions in 1862 when they, alongside 20 other Union soldiers and two civilians, infiltrated rebel territory and stole a train taking it northward and destroying as much of the train tracks, bridges, and other key logistical infrastructure as they could. It oh. was a mobile raid over 200 miles during the course of a week while they were constantly pursued by Confederates. Dope. That sounds pretty fucking tight. Like, I'm That's down. fucking that's a, gangster. That's a good reason to posthumously uh, receive the medal of honor. The word is posthumous. Posthumous. Okay. Posthumous. Good, good, learn good how to word. fucking learn how to English, motherfuckers. It's not posthumous. Right? No, it's posthumous. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. I don't expect you guys to be literate. It's fine. Yeah. <sighs> the worst part it's is, not, it's, and it's the grunt that's the literate one of the group. <laughs> that is the. That's the really sad part. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> the, Yo, the window. Li- the window liquor is the reader. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is one of master's degree can't even fucking say it right. (laughs) Yeah, that is one of the coolest badass stories I've ever heard in my life. They stole a train and they were destroying and they were destroying the tracks behind them so that they couldn't get another train to come after them. That is brilliant. That's gangster as fuck, dude. Like that's I'm that's I'm saying, dude. Like that's some fucking gangster ass shit. Sometimes you just gotta rob a fucking train, man. I mean, that's that's just how it goes sometimes, okay? Like, I'm down. I'm fucking down. Just show me. Show me. I'm from Missouri. Show me. Y'all want, y'all, y'all want something cool to read up on and look at? Look up the... Uh, it, it. I call it the Band of Beavers, and it was a... It was, like, the Minnesota Wildlife Group. They had beavers get oh, about flood a town. So... The Wildlife Association, a bunch of old World War II paratroopers got together, bought a whole bunch of surplus parachutes, created cages, little boxes to put beavers in, and to relocate them, flew them up in a fucking airplane and dropped them out of an airplane. Yep, they were parachuted. What? They were parachuted. Paratrooper beavers, the band of beavers. Yep, Where they were. You? This happened Where in the. Cha- this happened in 1948 in the Chamberlain Basin. Mm-hmm. How did Look, you even hear a, about that? The, uh, one of the YouTubers I follow, follow, the Fat Electrician, he's a veteran, oh, yeah. um, and he released a video on it earlier this week. Okay, okay. I'll send you fat, the link to the fat video. Like, Jay. Fat, Electri- fat Electrician's a fun guy. I like, I like some of his yeah. stuff. There it is. There, there's the par- the paratrooper beavers. <laughs> oh, of course. That's unreal. That's unreal. Yeah, that is that is unreal. <clears throat> Uh, next, we have crew of NASA's Earthbound simulated Mars habitat emerges after one year. 
the four Ew. volunteer crew mem the, the Cree, the four volunteer crew members spent more than 12 months inside of NASA simulated Mars environment at Johnson Space Center in Houston, coming out of an artificial alien environment Saturday around 5 p.m. Kelly Haston, Ansa Celeru, Ross Brockwell, and Nathan Jones entered the 3D printed habitat on June 25th, 2023, as the maiden crew of the Space Agency's Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog Project. Uh, the quartet lived and worked inside the space of a 17,000 square feet to simulate a mission to the red planet, the fourth from the sun, and the frequent focus of discussion among scientists and sci-fi fans alike concerning a possible voyage taking humans beyond the stars. Interesting. I don't. Do you, do you guys remember like Biosphere? Biosphere Two. Like yes. Outside of Tucson? And like people like locking themselves up in that shit and all that. There, I actually, so my wife and I watched a really deep documentary about that. How it was started off by a bunch of artists, and then all the the rich guys came in and kicked them out. Basically. And yeah, uh, but the 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 story of how they built it from nothing, how how a group of environmentalists had nothing, and mm -hmm. were living off of farming and. You know, yeah. pretty much all the basic necessities of life, like like in the 1800s, they were doing it. And this group of people, um, who was the guy? Someone is is a part of this. Um, Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon was the okay. one who who Steve Bannon was the one who came in and pretty much pushed all those environmentalists out of the biosphere project. Well, it kind of it kind of fell on its face, anyways. And <clears throat> yeah, you'd be surprised how many hippies are in fucking Tucson. There's a lot of fucking hippies in Tucson. Yeah, I, I actually that that's to me the biosphere was one of is what to me one of the most interesting mm -hmm. and most ambitious projects I've ever heard of in my life. You know, it was at the time at the time it was yes at the, at, for, for for the time we're talking like late eighties going into yep. the nineties. You know what I mean? Like at the time it was very ambitious, but they just as is as yeah biodome, yeah fucking biodome. That was like yeah and like. I've been I've been to the biosphere and I've I've seen inside it and I've you know taken the tour and all that but um yeah they really fucked it up and it wasn't yeah it was not what it was supposed to be it did not turn out to be like it did not become what it what it really was supposed to to do yeah and and then everybody just kind of like gave the fuck up on the environment I guess yeah since we're since we're right back to just destroying the fuck out of it anyways so mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah uh, a yeah. couple other couple other things um u.s troops u.s says troops are leaving nigeria bases this weekend um troops are coming home make sure you be there for your families um okay pretty excited about that you know um the hot dog eating contest happened as well at fort saw bliss that. I yeah saw that. tell me so about it john get, so apparently it was a, a success you know, there's our boy Joey Chestnut, the vegan hot dog eater. Yeah, and he wasn't allowed to fucking eat Nathan's hot dogs. Fucking that. By the way, I want to just ex express my deep. Oh, and look utter, at the pizza! I want to express my deep and utter discontent with the fucking four soldiers who went up against Joey Chestnut. All four of you suck. <laughs> all, four, all, all four of you couldn't eat as many hot dogs to combined as he ate. So I just wanted, like, I just wanted to shame. Those four soldiers for just their utter failure and, and incompetence at eating hot dogs. Okay, so you 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 should all be ashamed of yourselves and uh, like work harder, work harder next year. Okay, that's fucking Joey Chestnut. You don't fuck with that guy, dude. Like I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't that he was eating or moved to vegan to vegan hot dogs it was the fact that he took a sponsorship from a, another company that was hot dogs right and right. that was that's the whole controversy about that but i mean if the guy wants to eat vegan hot dogs let him fucking eat vegan hot dogs i could care dude like that's i don't understand like it's like nobody can have anything fucking nice anymore you know no. what i mean like we just, we just have to fucking take every like nobody's allowed to play with toys nobody nobody's allowed to have fun everything has to be this like corporate fucking like dog dog walk you know what i mean like where it's just like you, you, like you get led around on a leash and told what to like and how to do it you know what i mean like and it's mm -hmm. it's just garbage it's fucking garbage and it takes all the fucking fun out of it we, we all know joey chestnut would have fucking like romped ass and beat the fuck out of everybody at the nathan's hot dog eating contest so the only reason they have a new winner this year is because they had like they had to find a way to fucking like 
remove him, right? And they did, yep. and they did. By the way, the person the person that won, I think they had they they ate like I don't remember what the number was like fifty seven. 40 is like 47 or 57, something Holy like that. Shit. Joey Chestnut would have fucking destroyed them. He would have fucking destroyed them. So it's it, it's pretty obvious why they why they wanted him out of there because he would have just kept winning year he after just, year after year. He keeps winning. Yeah, because he's good. Because he's fucking good. Uh, you know, I think that's I, you know. That that's personal preference for him. I mean, look at look at all the other. I mean, for example, look at all these people fighting about fucking Celsius and that other fucking flavored fucking water. Uh, fucking prime, Asquilini spitting into a bottle of it. Uh, you know, like some. It's just personal preference, and maybe he just. What? Nathan hot dogs are great, but I bet you money they're not the healthiest things either. So maybe that was another thing. Maybe Joey Chestnut's dying. I don't know. No, we you know. No, 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 no. It's it, people are fucking stupid. That's all this. Just like you know the biosphere, fucking stupid. Stevo, the whole jackass crew, fucking stupid. Right? Like, like we're just a lot of people are fucking stupid. Okay? Scooter racing, fucking scooter stupid. racing, fucking stupid. Right? But we're watching it. But we're watching it, <laughs> right? <laughs> Reality TV, fucking stupid, really fucking stupid. But jo- but John likes it. We 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 give we let him have his. Fucking let me let me add one back. more. Let me add one more. Disney stuff, fucking stupid. Fucking like anything. But for anything some odd makes, reason, we're still watching it. Anything that makes Jay smile ever, fucking probably stupid. Yeah. Like so, most likely, fucking stupid. And. I don't know. I think they're embracing him. They may be embracing him at this point. I have uh, no idea. Yeah. Are you guys familiar with uh, General William Anders? Anders? Was that Civil War? No. Uh, General William Anders, uh, Apollo 8 astronaut. Yes. Uh, so last month he passed away uh, uh-huh. in the plane in the plane crash. Uh, very horrifying footage, too. So... It was, it's been revealed. So he's the guy who took the Earthrise photo. And, uh-huh. you know, here's a guy that loves to fly his plane, but he was known for doing flybys near his friends' houses. Uh huh. And so that is, you know, friends said that his flybys were not unusual. He would typically, he typically did two flybys. And while he sometimes rocked the airplane wings, he never performed any kind of aerobic maneuvers. And yeah, so. He was, you know, the, is, so, there, the is, why, there, is there is there footage of his plane crashing? I yeah, there is. Can can you look it up? Let's see. Oh, uh, I want to see. All right. So, and again, this you know this is very sad, but sometimes the, gru- the gruesome is what makes us watch things, right? These are the things that interest us sometimes. Uh, yeah, there it is, right there. Oh yeah, he was doing a loop to loop and didn't didn't make yeah. it, did he? Didn't make it. What they uh, what they fucking stop it right before it hit? Oh, come on. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it's 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 sad, man. It's super sad, but it it, it, it goes to show. Was this a man who died doing what he loves? Right. Is it, you know, because we always hear like of these of these speedsters, you know, racing down the highways doing 150. Like, you know, I want to die. I want to die doing what I love. And if that's what he loved, is that something that he would have wanted for himself? You know what I mean? Was it not that he was trying to take his own life? But if there was a a moment that you knew it was your last second, wouldn't you want to make it your your best one? When did you say he died? Uh, This happened last month. June seventh, yeah, okay. he died on June, he died on June seventh. Yeah, that is how Randy Rhodes died uh, from the dungeon. That's how that is, that's exactly how Randy Rhodes died too. Yeah, fucking mm-hmm. people hot dogging, man. People hot dogging. What are you gonna do? You know, vegan hot dogging out here. Fucking, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, and then you end up dying in a plane crash over it. Yeah, so. I'm trying to see what else we got here. 
Um, NATO leaders will vow to pour weapons into Ukraine for another year, but membership is off the table, which I don't see why Ukraine can't be. They, they can't be at war. Can't be currently at. In a oh, that that's the criteria. Join, that's right. To join NATO, you have to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In and then all the time. other countries. Yeah. And then all the other countries have to agree on it unanimously. So that's a whole thing, too. Interesting. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I got a really I got a hot topic here. A hot oh, topic. God. Oh, God. Uh, I can't wait. Now, we've all lived in military housing, correct? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Well, not not with not with my family, but when I was a single soldier, obviously, yes. OK, so. Army family has been awarded $10.3 million after living in mold-infested homes in Texas's Fort Cavezos. Yeah, okay. formerly, formerly known as Fort Hood. Yes. Uh, and they ain't going to change the bad shit that happens there. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but this is this is an interesting thing. So when I was living in, in on, on post housing, I had to move twice because of black mold seeping into the walls. And yes, I am going to call out Villages of Benning because what they did is that they called the maintenance people to to spray bleach on the black mold. It's like then that just doesn't that's not. Yeah. And it it just makes it worse. At that time, I had newborn babies. Not good for them. You know, Um and it's just like that. This this seems to be a common thing. We were just talking about just a couple weeks ago, how uh, I forgot which base it was that they were redoing their barracks. Yeah, because of the way yeah. the, the way that the, the soldiers were living. Yeah. So now we're hearing more and more about mold in the houses of the family members of the soldiers. And now, Grant, and now check this out: the soldier. What's the what's the average work time for a soldier? Work time? Yeah. Usually no later than like 06 because usually PT is like at 6:30. Yep, and then when does it end? 5 or 6. Like Five 17 or six. 17 or 8 17 or 1800. You're you're looking at close to 12 hour day every day. Yeah, and that also depends on your MOS too. It so does. It does. The, depending where you at where you're at there you're not going to be home as much your family is going to be home yeah and they're going to be the ones that are that are breathing in the 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 infestation of the mold it's it's nobody nobody could ever understand like after i became as when, when when i when i got married when i was in the army everyone's like are you gonna live on are you gonna live on post and i was like fuck no i'm not living on post are you high i'm gonna use fucking bah i'm gonna get a fucking place off post like when and i had I had two different uh, – uh, one one was at uh, Fort Leonard Wood, and then when I got stationed at Fort Carson, I, I lived – I chose to live off 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 post in uh, Pueblo, Colorado. And, like, nobody could understand why I wanted to fucking do that. And I'm like, I don't think you understand. I've seen what the married housing looks like on the bases, and it's not yeah, good. It's not good anywhere. There's no, no, there's no decent married – like, there's no decent married housing, like, pretty much anywhere in the in the Army. I don't trust it. Never didn't trust it then. Wouldn't trust it now. And no, I'm not going to have my fucking family living, you know, breathing fucking goddamn mold spores all goddamn fucking day and night. You know what I mean? So, I mean, even Cardenas said it. I had the PL and his wife sued Balford Beatty after his daughter got very sick from the mold and FLW. They paid out as well. It is at at Fort Leonard Wood. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it 100%. And that's like, like my, 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 my poor parents, you know, like they, they were like, how come you don't live on post and it's easier? And then I'm like, no, mom, dad, you don't get it. Like, I like this ain't the fucking air force. Okay. Like yeah. my, my, now like, this, no, this is like, now, like, no, now this right here. Don't they have the budget? That's debatable. We don't know where the budget's going. <laughs> no, <yeah>. You know, <laughs> that's, they, they can say they can say where it's going, but it's not, do we ever see you know, that? Like, they huh? say, Oh, it's going to NTC, but then it's going to something else that the army needs. Yep. And the army goes rolling along. I mean, that's probably the one thing that me and my wife have yeah. talked about frequently that we probably w- wish that we made the decision of living off post just because of all the issues that on post housing had. Yeah. You know, well, and it's and- like, it doesn't make sense where you basically get all of your BAH deducted and, and to live 
in what I would call like probably substandard housing. Yeah. You know, you look nice on the outside. It looks nice on the outside, but you got to live like two fucking feet away from like, you know, specialist schmuckatelli and like Lieutenant, Lieutenant dirtbag. There you go. And and they're, and they're fucking, and they're fucking families. I'd rather just live in a fucking regular ass neighborhood off post. You know what I mean? Like I, I wanted to keep the army with the army and my family with my family. You know what I mean? Like, and like, that's, I needed, I needed a place to go to and like, Living on post, you don't really ever leave work. Yeah. At least that's how uh, it felt like for me. The budget is privatized because they are a privatized civilian entity under contract. Okay, that 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 yeah, which I is also that. like which also should we I, I don't think I disagree that we should be doing that. We should not be yeah. privatizing housing on fucking military bases, right? Like it's a military base for a reason. It's a base, mm-hmm. right? Like, so we should not be privatizing anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that's true. My dogs were always trying to escape the house too, so that's actually kind of funny that you remember that. Uh, but there are there are some nice things about living on post, right? You get to hear the the booms from the cannons. You get yeah, every see, day. Yeah, you know that that's you hear uh, taps. You hear taps at night. You know, like not time in the arm is a lonely time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you get to hear get to hear uh, revelry and you know and retreat and all that. So you know. Oh. Yeah, because I I do I do know Cardenas. I'm very well aware. Trust me, and I I still I still hate it and I despise it. And uh, mm-hmm. it, 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 the the fact that money plays such a huge part in like everything we do disgusts me. And I know you know that already. It disgusts me. But here we are. It's 2024, and people are still money hungry bitches. So what are you gonna do, right? What do you, hey, you can just get fucking titty implants like fucking Stevo. And uh, tattoo a cock on your face, right? Like, cause that's, that's what we do for money, right? That's what we do for money. Ooh, this is right? a good question. UFOs? No, I didn't. I saw I saw some cool shit. I saw some cool shit at Fort Bragg when I went to Selection. Um, there's an airfield out there by the JFK, the JFK fucking Special Warfare School. Yeah. Um, so I did get. I I saw some stuff in the sky, but. They weren't UFOs. I, I yeah, knew, I, knew, I, live, I, knew, I knew what they were. I knew what they were. I live. I lived so. right next to the airborne towers. Yeah. So like, it could have been anything, right? You know what I mean? Because like, we had because Fort Benning has um oh god, it's got the airfield, it's got the airborne towers. Yeah. They do the yep. training at the towers, and then they do they fly right out of the airfield, you know, mm-hmm. and then you see the parachutes and their lights and stuff coming down. Yep. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. Well, it, money, money definitely talks. It, it, that that's that's very true. Money money definitely talks. I, I think it's 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 unfortunate that the uh, the love of money has basically infested everything, and it kind of uh, that that kind of love of money is the reason why houses have mold. Because people start cutting corners because they want more money. So they don't spend money where the money actually needs to go. And then now we have to pay ten million fucking dollars to a family in Fort Fucking Hood, you know, who got sick because of that fucking shitty mold. So instead of spending a few thousand dollars and like making the houses a little bit better so they don't get moldy, we just paid a family ten million dollars of our taxes, our tax money. Yeah. Because because they got sick. Instead of spending a few thousand to Fix the problem ahead of time, right? I got a ten million dollars settlement. I'm getting the fuck out of the army, bro. That's dude. Ten million is my uh, ten million is my. If I if I could put ten million dollars liquid cash in the bank right now, I would never work another day in my life. Dude, I would never and, work another day in my life. I'm, but but don't they have? A, isn't there something um, that like if you win the lottery, that uh-huh. that if or if you have or if you win a certain amount of money that you become? I don't want to say it's an inconvenience of the army. Um, it's something else. Uh, um, you can like se- you, you can separate if you want because you yeah. don't necessarily need. But you know it, you don't have to though. There's pl- there's plenty of people in the in the in the in the army and the other branch branches of service who probably are rich. Like how they have they yeah. have fuck you, they probably have fuck you money, but they choose they choose to stay in or whatever. That's that's entirely up to them. But yeah. yes, you can you can you can request like early early separation basically based on. It would be considered. A, it, they would probably call it a hardship, even though like having that much money, like 
isn't really hard, right? Like that, that wouldn't really be a hardship, but you could request a hardship separation for that. Like, like, cause yeah, fuck you. Like I, I wouldn't want to fucking work anymore either. You know what I mean? Like ten million dollars. Who would? Ten million. Ten million dollars doesn't sound like a lot, but that's that's basically that's two hundred thousand life. That's two hundred thousand dollars a year for fucking forty or for fifty years. Mm-hmm. Two hundred thousand. You could you can as long as you spend less than two hundred thousand dollars a year, you will not run out of money for fucking fifty years. That's that's basically. I'm I'm forty three, so I'm pretty sure I'm like. I'd be okay. You know what I mean? As- yeah, I mean, if if I were to get that much money, I'm fucking, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> decent down payment on a house, pay off my fucking car. Yep. Just so that way, I've got a very small fucking mortgage that I can just use that fucking money that's sitting in the bank collecting fucking interest to pay. Yep. Because the thing is, you take some of it, you put it in, you put a good chunk of it into a high yield savings account. You're uh-huh. collecting interest on that shit. So you're making money as you're sitting on it. Right. And that's basically, and like I said, like as long as you don't spend $200,000 or more, more than $200,000, you know what I mean? Like a year. Yeah. You've got, you've got 50 years yeah. and 200 and $200,000 is considerably more than I think any of us make right now. So you'd have to be overspending basically. Like as long as you live within your means, man, like that's, $10 million is like, fuck you money to me. That's like, I walk away from everything. I walk away from all of it. Like just done. That's Never I'm going to buy. I, that's I'm going to buy a sovereign nation for that. That's sovereign. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I'd that's probably that's spend a little bit more that first year just to get myself out of fucking debt. Well, sure. I, I mean, that's what I, I would pay off my house. Yeah. I'd pay off I would, my house. I would, like you I would said, I'd house out right, pay my fucking car off. Yep. I can get myself out of the debt I'm in and then yeah. the rest and of it would sit and I would just pull every month to pay, you know, my electric bill, utilities, shit like that. I would pull yep. from fucking that. Most of it would sit in my high yield savings account, collecting fucking interest. Yep. Making money off of the money I already have to, you know, extend the life cycle of that money too. Because the thing is, right. the longer it sits, the more you're earning an interest, the more you're, putting back into it as you're even using i mean so yeah it's, that's it's, funny yeah fucking a fucking a so yeah i might get, you know i might get more like 48 47 years off of it just because of you know that first year i'm getting myself completely debt free sure sure and that's understandable i mean buying you know buying a house buying a car you know what I mean? Like all that, like that, it would take you. Got, you sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Right. Yeah. But then you, but then you wouldn't have to worry about that house thing or that car thing again for a long time, for a long time. I would, so. well, I mean, I would probably, so my predicament is I would probably stay working for a couple years just because of child support. Sure. Sure. And there's nothing and wrong with that. Just, you know, working, I wouldn't even, Honestly, I wouldn't work the job I have now. I would find like a part-time job that I make enough to just cover child support with. I would work security. That's, I'm telling you, like yeah. I, I have, like, I have the easiest job in the world. Like it's that, it's not always, it's not always fun, but it's insanely fucking easy for for what I actually have to do. It's insanely easy. So, Jay, you ain't gonna see Jay complain about it. So yeah, what else we got, John? That's it. That's all I got. Well, that's shit. the last. That's the last news that I had. I mean that. Okay. That um, that's a big topic any, right there too. You got any? Uh, you got anything coming up this week? No, actually, it's actually a pretty tame week. You know, okay. got um, let's see, Fallout's done with you, me, and Lore, which that's a fucking breather. You know, just the same old stuff. Uh, Tam, we I'm starting the reality pot, the reality TV show podcast soon, so you won't have to hear me talk about it here anymore. Oh, that's okay. I love I love hearing yeah. I love hearing you talk talk all your about all your, yeah. your trashy shows. You yeah, there's I mean? also uh, man, I'm not yeah, no, it's just summer. It's just summer. You know, we're planning we're okay. planning to mm-hmm. have a good summer. We got Wild West City coming up. We got a Land of Make Believe coming up. My son's birthday is in four days. My nice. oldest son, so I'm pretty. I'm actually very excited about that. I know he is too. Man, 
That's good, dude. That's good. Looking forward. I'm looking forward to hearing some of these. Uh, I, yeah. I think I, re I read something about that. Uh, I've, I read a short article about that uh, on Reddit, but I didn't, I didn't dive. I didn't dive too deep. I haven't, yeah. I haven't been on. I haven't been on fucking Xbox in a minute. So you know, the, I only the only thing I play on on Microsoft is Fallout, whereas everything else I play on Steam. So it's like I didn't even know this, but I think I wasn't able to play Fallout that day. So, <laughs> which I probably should probably think about getting Fallout on Steam one day soon too. Right. Maybe. You got you got to come to PC, man. Get away from that console. Get away from that constant console stuff. Come to the real world. And um, yeah, Did so you watch here... uh, Nate Diaz box. Uh, Jorge Masvidal. Rockville? I heard about that yesterday. I I had just missed it. Uh, I was doing a recording for Bong Rips and Video Game when that fight was happening. Who won that? Uh, Diaz by uh, decision. Oh no shit. There, yep. Something yep. else. Something. Something else was going on yesterday. Oh no, money. That uh, money in the bank was on yesterday. Nothing else. Um. He said, "No way, clean. He's not coming to PC. Mm -mm -mm. You will never know what f frontier, high altitude, hopscotch, fucking high energy gaming is." Until you get one of these things, my friend. Uh, but yeah, let's uh let's uh what's this take two minutes off your PFT mile? What is it? I just found something here. Take two minutes off your PFT mile. An army officer emailed me with a goal of dropping two minutes off his mile run pace. This is not a tough goal to achieve. If you're a beginner, you should ramp up distance, pace, and intensity over a sixth to eight week period as described in the chart below it's a long chart here i'll it's a long chart i'll look into that i'll look into that maybe we'll talk about again. that next week yeah are you gonna we'll, start running again john no 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 i got a scoot I, I got a scooter why would i run yeah. you can race yeah you can competitively race scooters yeah that yeah be yeah. I mean, I mean, I my my scooter only goes like twenty miles an hour. Those racers would clock me out in a, in a second. Right. Uh, but yeah, so you know what time it is, guys. We're at the end of our show. The final thought. Do any of you guys want to take it this week? Uh, I'm good. I'm good as far as like you 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 go you go right ahead, John or Joe. It's I think it's your guys' turn. So. Yeah, well, guys, it is that time of the day. It's that time of the hour. It's that. It's just every fucking day. It's every week. every every second of the day. And I bet you, I bet you, unfortunately, right now in this second, there's someone taking their life right now, and that's fucking heartbreaking. You you know because it it's 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 the world. It's the way the world goes. There is a child. Mm -hmm born every second of the day there is a life being taken every second of the day don't let it be you i i i always have this like notion that you know destiny is always written in stone right like your story is already written you just need to go through the pathways to get to it and sometimes decisions kind of it breaks a new branch. It change. It changes a different outlook. But then sometimes we go into different roads that put us in inside of that cloud, you know, inside of that negative space that we don't belong in, you know. And there are different different things to get us in that negative space. Okay, some something as light as a song, uh, so, and something as some something as powerful as losing losing a a, a pet. You know, these things will bring you down, but you have to know one thing is that you are not alone. The three of us here, we go we we go through our our dark mood sometimes. We know you do too. Every even every single person that is in this chat right now, every single person that watches afterwards and those around us, even if it's as light as a three minute depression that depression is still vital enough to ask somebody are you okay are you okay you know that those three words are super important and maybe just hearing them or saying it to someone who needs to hear it 
could change everything. So, guys, make sure you dial the National Suicide Hotline. You could text or call at 988. It's just simply 988 or dial 1-800-273-8255, 1-800-273-TALK. There is someone there to hear your story today. They they sit there for hours on end waiting to help you. It is their job to help you. If you don't want to speak to a friend, a family member, write in your journal, and if you just need someone to speak to, Dial night text or call 988 or dial 1 800 273 8255. 1 800 273 talk. And I know not just myself, but Jay and Scalini, they want to see you here in 168 hours, give or take. You know how we are, but we'll be there. We will be there. So just don't lose yourself. That's all I'm asking for. Don't lose yourself. You know, and yeah, that's that's it. Thank you for coming by. It was a, f- a fruitful one as always. A yeah. pretty kind of a pretty tame week in news and things and stuff like that. You know, it's just yep. it's just the way it is sometimes. Yeah, it's okay to chill because you know as soon as we need a week or two to just chill the fuck out. You know what I mean? The shit gets fucking hot. It's fucking summertime. The the weather the weather doesn't we help need, either. The yeah, weather. We don't we don't need any more bullshit. Yeah, it's actually yep. eighty-eight. It's actually eighty-eight degrees today too. Let's maybe bring let's bring the kids out today. How about you that? Go. You know, you go. go out, go outside, touch some grass, drink some water, right, or whatever you like to imbibe in. You know, but yeah, stay safe, guys. We love you. See you in one hundred sixty-eight. Absolutely, guys. Have Sign. a good one. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Later, all.